Hey guys, so I recently bought three uh, very fun washi tape and I thought why not make some art inspired by them? So I'm going to be doing uh, some artworks based on these washi tapes. So let's get right to it. So I have three different kinds of washi tape right here. Uh, <laughs> I, it looks better on the paper when it's actually like flat out. Like it's easier to tell what it is. So here we have this in Egyptian inspired one. Very golden and shiny and really rich brown red. Red brown. And then we have this fun constellation one. Uh, we got a few constellations on there. And then lastly, I have this uh, little axolotl doodles. Looks very fun. Very cute. Love it. So I actually have three different characters uh, from the same universe that I think would go really well with each one of these. Uh, they're my own original characters. I think I'm gonna draw two out of three of these washi tape like inspired artworks. So I'm gonna pick from a bag two out of three of these and I'll make some art two artworks based on the two washi tapes I pick. So I have a fuzzy sock that I'm using as my bag because that's just what I had on hand. Uh, the three washi taper in here, so I'm gonna give it a good shake and then pick right out of it. My eyes are closed, not that it matters, I can't see it anyway. So first up we have our axolotl, cute little design, that should be fun. And I, I do have a character that already goes with it, so let's do that. So for those of you who are aware, like in the Gravity Falls universe, there's like this uh, creature called the axolotl that's referred to in like everything like uh, basically after the show was done releasing, there's a lot of talk about like this, I guess like godlike axolotl. I think it's pretty cool and I really like it. So I'm gonna be inspired by that specifically, especially because the design obviously features a little axolotl and some cool shapes and whatnot. I really like the colors. So that will start to come out as well when I'm making my work. But specifically, I have a, an original character that I, is tied to the Gravity Falls universe. It's a part of my Gravity Falls Owl House crossover AU, kind of. I don't know. I post about it a bit on my Instagram. So if you want to check that out, at Ray the Random Artist on Instagram. And specifically, this character, uh, Richie, or Ricardo, he is one of the magic users in this AU out of uh, a few. Also, uh, they're all original characters, but he's also, he's like the main character because he's the most recent, obviously. And he doesn't have huge ties to the axolotl, but he does meet the axolotl. Um, and also magic stuff kind of go on that Axolotl knows about. So they have a little bit of a connection, so I'm going to be inspired by that for this artwork. And also I just want to draw Richie because he is one of my favorite original characters, not going to lie. So I kind of want him to be like interacting with like some Axolotls and also the shapes in this. So we got like cool, funky shapes and striped stuff that might be good for like shading. I'm just taking this all into account. We give him a long jacket just to be fun. <laughs> What's nice is I already have like an axolotl reference right here. I mean, I might look up some more references if I need it. I also like the dot eyes, so I might just keep the dot eyes as well for Richie, if I want him. Could have like an axolotl on his shoulder. I think that'd be very cute. This is 
a very rough sketch. I'd say this is like a pose thumbnail more than anything. I'm not going to worry too much about how it looks right now. <laughs> Stupid Dax face. Oh my gosh. Because like axolotls are in water too. So I want like that floating kind of look. Less grounded and more mystical floating which makes sense for both the character and the actual creature. And I want another one, like, up here, maybe? He looks kind of like a Pokemon master. Yeah, let's make this a Pokeball. <laughs> Might make a, a video about Pokemon, drawing some Pokemon, because I do have a lot of cards recently that I've collected from some booster packs. I just like the designs, honestly. I don't really care for the game or, oh, this is a powerful card. I just like cute designs. I think this is a good starting spot. I do like the vibe already that is given. I think I'll need to reference some axolotl actually when I do my final drawing. But pretty good. I'm gonna try the dot eye style with Richie again. So yeah, Richie's, uh, I don't know, Richie Noceda, he's the cousin of Luz Noceda, my, it's in this AU that I've created. So he has magical abilities, but based in the human, human world, which is like the Gravity Falls world, because I've combined the two. I mean, maybe they're already connected, but like, this is my AU, because I wanted to. He has like magic symbols that he, can see and if that's like a part of the universe and is connected to weird stuff so he really likes that and I think in this piece off also include some like symbols of his and use the color palette because I think that'd be a cool design so yeah I like that dot eye style uh, I better make sure I can draw an axolotl so I should probably test that out they're very cute creatures. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life, though. That's sad. <laughs> the pink ones are probably the most iconic, but I am seeing a few different colors. And the actual ones aren't actually that bright pink, but I think I'll stick to the color palette that I'm given. I'm just gonna try to keep this cartoony, because that's what I like, and I like the style of that which is a bit cartoony. Their legs are also a bit stumpier than I think I realize. Like a little bit stumpy. Well, I suppose that's an axolotl. I don't, I think I, I like where this direction. I think I'm gonna stick with this kind of like type of pose. Maybe he'll be turned a little bit more. i try that down here. His head, hat. Be looking at his shoulder, maybe more to look at the axolotl on his shoulder. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna jump right into making this digital. Let's go. So, I want to start this off by saying I had a lot of fun with this piece. Like, just from the pose to the line art to the coloring to even the background it was so much fun start to finish and a lot of fun to work on definitely helped that richie is one of my favorite ocs and one that i have put a lot of effort into and i draw him a lot if you follow me on instagram like i said you probably see him a lot and he really likes animals and weird stuff and i think axolotls are like a perfect weird animal like they're kind of strange kind of cool to look at which makes them all the better for richie and his interests and for this artwork I don't think the axolotls that I drew though are to scale with like an actual human or like the actual size of them compared to a human. I didn't check that. This is just artistic. It was an artistic choice. 
I don't, it doesn't matter too much. I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> So a little bit more about Richie, if you don't know, he is a magic user of Dimension 46 apostrophe dash, which is the name of the Gravity Falls universe, but for this AU, I combined uh, the Owl House universe and the Gravity Falls one, and have them take place around the same time in the same summer, so there's a lot going on. And Richie is kind of connecting the two worlds, he's the cousin of Luce. Uh, the older cousin, he's 16 when Luce is 14, and he uh, goes to Gravity Falls for the summer. He's sent by his mom to stay with his grandma or abuela, and he has he sees like m magic symbols like all the time. He's uh, a Bohemian magic user, which is why based on the Bohemian um, star symbols that are. A little bit in Gravity Falls, they're actually on the portal uh, that Ford Pines built. So I use that as inspiration for the magic system. He's like trying to figure out all these mysteries and stuff about his magic, but also the mysteries of Gravity Falls with Dipper and Mabel and whatnot. He is able to like affect symbols uh, in different ways and he even finds a book that tells them how to use spells, and it's kind of like Luz's magic. Uh, hers is from the Boiling Isles, though. His is from the human realm, or the Dimension 46 apostrophe dash, which means he can use m magic in Earth, basically. It's pretty cool. He's like the newest one, the most recent, because these magic users only show up like once every like hundreds of years like they're not common at all so he happens to have that and gravity falls is surrounded with magic like a lot of magic for obvious reasons considering like a lot of weird stuff is going on and uh turns out the magic of the human realm really likes weird stuff so richie just wants to explore it all and find it all uh, unfortunately, his curiosity sometimes leads to more problems, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> I am working on a story, like an actual, like, written story featuring him and this AU. But, you know, I'll, I haven't really written much. I'll get to, I'll get around to it eventually. <laughs> The axolotls in this drawing were also a lot of fun to draw and shade and color. I really love their little faces too. I think they look so cute. So I'm really happy with how those turned out. And for once I, I actually lo loved all the stages of this drawing. Like I was happy with it start to finish like I said earlier, but like each stage I was like yeah this looks good. Like. Obviously the end product is the best, but I was happy with it all the way through, which doesn't happen often, so I'm glad I got to have fun with this piece. I really love it.
So here's in the process where I start to add the Bahinian star symbols. Obviously they're not a part of the washi tape itself, but I did use colors from the washi tape and kind of fit with the theme and other colors. So like I, I made it like match basically, go with the aesthetic that was already established. But yeah, these are the magic symbols that Richie can use to do all sorts of kinds of spells. And I thought it was nice to include that. And it, I think it really adds to the piece in general. I had to add a sort of border uh, behind the axolotls and Richie to make them pop out more. Uh, but after that, I was basically done. And second one, second last one. Okay, here we go. It's the Egyptian one. Very shiny and I love the color. So let's do that one too. So for my Egyptian tape here, I actually have a character who's from ancient, ancient Egypt, a part of the same universe. Their name is Imhotep, I think is how you say it. I should know this, but whatever. And obviously being from ancient Egypt makes this tape perfect for them. So let's try to come up with some ideas. That's her name in hieroglyphics, so I'm pretty sure. So I could probably incorporate that into the piece, uh, considering the tape space on that so I'm gonna include a lot of gold in this and the brown will probably be the background or at least part of it they were a healer in ancient Egypt who was also a magic user like Richie uh, they were born without a forearm so they have like magic to like be the arm instead they were a priest of Sekhemt, uh, that one Egyptian goddess, you know, associated with healing and stuff. I don't know what I want them to be doing though in this artwork. This just gives me like the inspiration for a character, maybe like a dark hallway. I'm getting that kind of vibe. I don't draw this character as often considering they're just uh, kind of like a, not even a background character in my story, just like um, a historical figure, you could say. They were sacrificed. I mean, I could do something a little, I don't want to be too bloody, but you know, maybe, maybe a little something alluding to that happen to them. I'll probably also do the dot eye style because if I'm doing it for Richie, I might as well do it here too. Magic on, basically, to make up for not being born with one. It's kind of like a prosthetic, but made of magic. That should be fun lighting, that could be a light source. If I do them like floating kind of too, like a little floating pose maybe as well. They're looking up. So they'll be like looking up. They'll have like gold magic maybe like around them. I think that'd be cool. They could have like their hieroglyphics name just back here maybe or across over here. Maybe multiple times, I don't know. I mean, I understand this thumbnail. I mean, and that's all that matters, really. I mean, it does look like a bunch of messy scribbles, but I think I get it. I should get it, because considering I drew it. 
Thing is, I don't really feel like doing much of a background because like the washi tape doesn't really have a background either. It's just design. So I think I'll just do that. So let's do it. I also really enjoyed this piece and I think the end result turned out like exactly what I had in my head, which is really cool. It, it was a, also a lot of fun to work on and it didn't take that much time either, like compared to what usually like a full completed piece like this would take. I mean, maybe it's because I actually thumbnailed for once and had a solid idea. But yeah, it didn't take much time and I really liked how this one turned out too. Also, which you might have noticed, I use a bunch of different colors for like each different uh, layer, like for the sketch layer, the second sketch layer, and then the line art layer. Uh, that's just to help me personally keep track of them so I don't accidentally draw on the wrong layer. And like I said, it helps me keep track of which layer is what, basically. I also find it cool that I picked the two washi tapes that I did because while Richie is the most recent uh, magic user of the dimension, uh, Imhotep is the first uh, Bohemian magic user of dimension 46 apostrophe dash. They were especially really good with their magic, uh, although they assumed it was a gift from the gods and not just part of the universe. They were born without their left arm, like I said, but they use magic to create like a prosthetic that looks kind of like a hologram, which I think is a cool design. <laughs> a little bit of lore here. They uh, grew powerful in their control over their magic thanks to a lot of study, trial and error, and through the practices of the, the gods, like the Egyptian gods. They became a healer or like a priest, and they were praised highly by the Pharaoh himself. Their greatest skills were in healing magic and magic involving the mind and getting rid of demons. So when the Egyptians were made to construct the first portal for Bill Cipher, which you may know, that's, that's a part of some Gravity Falls lore, Journal 3, read it, I highly recommend it. Uh, Imhotep like contributed a bit of magic to that portal project, but after its ultimate failure, the kingdom like <laughs> fell into like a panic. Everyone was having terrible nightmares thanks to Bill. In order to appease Bill, uh, even though the statues and pyramids were going to be built, it was required that Imhotep be sacrificed. So at the age of 20, they were sacrificed to appease the demon, Bill Cipher. Uh, but they accepted their fate in order to save the kingdom. Which, good for them. But <laughs> that's why I also included the blood and like wounds in their chest and their uh, coughing up blood and stuff. It's because of that. So they didn't have a great ending. But. Really cool character in my opinion, I really like them. So for the background, I did end up including the hieroglyphics of their name and also the Bahinian magic symbols uh, in the same gold color inspired by the washi tape. So it kind of goes with the theme and I think it looks pretty good and cohesive honestly. a 
background glow to make the character pop, and after that I was basically done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, maybe leave a comment, and check out my Instagram for the full completed artworks if you want to see that. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.